So here's our center post for the driver's side. Um, mostly cleaned up, a couple little blemishes still left to fix, but um, what I did do is I went inside there, I dug out all the crap, I de-rusted it, and then I painted it quick, and now I'm going to fill it up with epoxy, but before I do that, I have to try to get a bolt in there, a carriage bolt in there, and then just fill that up with the epoxy resin. Well, it looks like I got me one of those new Triceropods. And it's supposed to make your videos come out a little bit better. Now, I don't know about all that. You could just take a couple 2x4s and screw a hinge to the top of it. But this is what the kids are all using these days. So you're, you're going to want to get yourself a hole drilled there, right where you need it. This is about a 65 64 plus or minus a couple millimeters. And you just want to get in there and uh, you drill yourself a hole. You can center punch this. I don't think it's going to help you out too much, but uh, you can go ahead and do that anyway. And it looks like we need a longer drill bit. Well, well, we'll just turn it around. And um, yeah, we get in, it's a little trick for you. You get a little bit farther. Um, pull your drill bit out a little bit. That's another thing if you want to get down there a little bit deeper. Well, if the ladies don't find you handsome, at least they'll find you handy. And here we go with our custom fastener. Now you're gonna to wanna to line this up very carefully. You wanna put the bolt part facing north and you wanna put the nail part facing west. If you do it the other way around, well, you're gonna to have to screw it into the north pole. Now you just wanna get that whole bunch of good hits. Get that, whack that right in there. Don't be afraid, it's, it's gonna go. Uh, sometimes your hammer's not quite long enough. So there's a little trick for that I'm gonna show you here. Oh, got to get a little closer here. Yeah, our cameraman had to run out to the road. He drove his trailer over, and there was a cop out there trying to say he was double parked, and he was arguing that it was only a single wide. And I don't know how he made out with that one. He never came back. That's, that's good. That's getting in there. A little bit more, and perfect. Here's where a wire brush comes in handy. Now, there's a sacrificial layer of wood on there. I don't know why they put it there. And brush that right off. And take yourself some compressed air, blow it out. I don't recommend using air the non-compressed variety. That doesn't seem to work out so good. And then it's time for a bit of the handyman's best friend. And here we go crafting with the handyman's almighty savior. You're gonna wanna seal this up good, lest you end up in a sticky situation later on. And uh, we, we like it, we like it, that's good. Here's our two part concoction. I don't really know why it takes two parts just to make one, but what are you gonna do? Ah, uh, the friendship of the handyman's helper knows no boundaries. And just a little top off. That's really toe-tapping stuff. Now, don't be afraid to get right in there. There you go, that's good. Yep. This matter has been solidified with a seal of approval. I've had my fill anyway. Well, take care. And catch you next time when I show you how to convert money into rust and then remove that rust by converting more money.